What is going on, guys? This, this is all Gaming with my review of Donkaron for Episode 5. And the episode starts off with this trial getting underway to, to figure out who the heck killed Fujisaki. So, of course, like people will... I believe his name was uh, Togami. He was pointing the finger at uh, Fuwaka because, of course, in the last episode, she was acting so weird. And of course, we found information about some serial killer that was that was called Geno Genocider Chow. So of course, because of her, like it knows something about it. Uh, Togami was blaming her, but he made a good point. He said at the same time as her, but at the same time as not. So Nagi, he figured out that that she had the split personality, and uh, and and when he figured that out, she actually snaps because her fear of blood just take over. And that's when that serial killer actually came out. And I gotta say, that switch, holy crap, it was crazy. I never thought a girl like that can be such a crazy killer because her other side, that genocider, when that came out and the way that her tongue was like, her tongue seemed like even longer when she changed. I don't know how that's possible, but her tongue got so freaking long that of course it was like hanging out her mouth, even even when she wasn't talking, like her tongue was, was, was still out. And even I thought about the episode, she was always in that, you know, in that personality. So I'm not sure if that is that gonna be the killer that that's always gonna be around, or maybe true chain back in the next episode. I'm not really sure. But it turns out that she only kills guys, and she had no idea that Fujisaki was a was a male, because like Mono Bear said, she was a trap because she had like some very she had like a very weak body or personality, and and that and her. Or his like upbringing, it was just like wearing down on him. And his secret was that Mono Bear was going to, you know, bring out that secret about him being a guy. So rather than him wanting to, rather rather than him wanting to kill somebody, you know, to keep to keep his secret, he actually wanted to change himself. And for, for that to happen, he had you know to become a become a real a real male. And so he actually met up with the killer. And those two are actually going to work together to change him so that even though his secret might be exposed, at least he'll be able to find his true self. So, of course, like people kind of like, well, like point the finger at people. Like at first, it was, a, it was that Geno Sider show, but of course, it wasn't her. But after she found out that Fujisaki was a male, she did get kind of mad, and, and that's when she wished she had killed him. But then Nagi, Nagi actually blamed uh, Togami. Because Togami like knew a lot about this and and, and, and the way that his uh, his body was hanging, because they used that stencil quote cool from the library, which we all know Togami was hanging there a lot in less episodes, so it made kind of sense to you know to, to blame him. But I, but I knew right away that what was going to be Togami just because it was like way too early in the episode for them to find a the killer already, so I knew right there it wasn't going to be him. But who, who who the killer is though? I was definitely not expecting that, because for some reason I just never thought that, that he would, would kill, especially uh, Fujisaki. But it turned out that that the killer, it was Owada, and we only find that out because Nagami, and that and that pink hair girl or purple hair girl, they actually like like caught that slip up he did about uh, Fuj Fujisaki having a blue tracksuit. Because nobody knew what color it was, and what Oda was told them, that that basically like what 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 made him slip up. So of course, I believe his name was uh, Kiyotaka. Like they like those, those two like it was him and Oda was that the bond the last episode. Of course, uh, Kiyo I, I, I call him for short. He did not want to believe that his brother, you know, was capable of that. But we see that it goes into in something much deeper. Because it turns out that Oda's secret was that he killed their brother, but it's not like some of you might think. It's not that he killed their brother, you know, in cold blood, but he was the he was the cause of their brother's death. So he kind of like had to bear that in mind that it's his fault that, that his brother died. But of course, you know, all that 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 uh, trust and guilt like just just got to him, and he, and he finally cracked out of jealousy because rather than killing somebody. Like, Fujisaki wanted to change and become stronger, but Odawa, like, that right there should got to him so much that he snapped because why Why should he, you know, stay the same and 
and not change at all, and not and not and not have that strength, you know, to change like like Fujisaki. So he got mad, and I I believe yeah, it was definitely out of a rage that he killed Fujisaki. So it's not like he he meant to do it. But I don't know. Like to me, it was very weird because I just did not. I I didn't think that that he could he could do that. But I gotta say, for like for somebody that actually you know went ahead and did this, he actually you know did a, did a pretty good job you know changing things. But what what really got me it was that Togami, he's the one that actually you know hung the body like that killer because he was testing people, and to me he has no right to do that. But I, but I at least gotta say I definitely like his like determination to live. And if he does make it to the end, like, like I think that him and Nagi are definitely going to be like the uh, the final two left, and maybe that other girl because she definitely seems pretty smart and she knows her stuff. So maybe those three will will be like the uh, the top people because if they die, you know, and like in, in upcoming episodes, I'm definitely going to be like really surprised about that. But man, I gotta say the way that Odawa went out, it was messed up. It was like really messed up. But I, but I do believe that I was definitely right in my, in my in my last video or one of them where I said they definitely die by what they love the most. Just like Leon died by baseball, Oda would die by on a bike because we all know that he was he was a, a bike gang leader that that he took over from his from his DC's brother. But the uh, the creepy thing is though when when that like Dev Kid became electrified, I, I think it like kind kind of melted him. Because he became like some kind of spread or whatever it was that Mono Bear was going to use on pancakes. And speaking of Mono Bear, I do want to know who is this mystery, who is this uh, mysterious 16th student that he, that he was talking to? Like, who exactly is he working with? And when would that person come into play? I'm hoping it'll be soon. Because at this point, like, we really need like a, a new student to make up for all these dead ones. But I, I have a feeling that when this new one comes in, that whoever it is, it's not going to die for a while because they're a new student. Why, why would they die already as they're just coming in? But overall, it was definitely a good episode. I definitely enjoyed it a lot. I st I'm still shocked at who did it. But that's the thing. You, you like, you, I'm guessing this series, you like really can't like, you know, be so quick to judge. Because I'm pretty sure most of you like me thought it actually going to be uh, Fubuka that actually did it. But it turned out that it wasn't her. But I got to say... Uh, Kiyo, Kiyo Taka, oh my god, he was just breaking down at the end. I, I I felt bad for him because he still couldn't believe that his brother actually, you know, did such a horrible thing. But anyway, guys, that was it for my review. Hopefully you all have enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, you guys take it easy, and I will see you all next time.